This is a story about a girl named Heather. She used to be on a reality show called The Palisades. In the beginning, it was awesome. But then she got totally famous, and everywhere she went, cameras and fans followed her. It got so that if the cameras weren't there, she didn't feel real. Is that, like, even possible on a reality show? I have looked through every single one of these magazines, looked up every single stylist, and called every single one of them. Not one of them called me back. Except Renata von Kleinberg, stylist to the stars. What time is it? Oh, um. <laughs> This is Alex. Um, Come on. He's my little indie filmmaker. No, don't worry. I am not gonna let him or um, any other guy distract me from my mission. <laughs> yeah, except now. People don't realize it, but we are totally surrounded by amazing accessories right here in like raw nature. But most of the time, we don't even notice them. Heather is insanely creative, just like me. Cute. Where's Morgan? Oh my god. Morgan's having breakfast with Tristan today. <gasps> I did all I could to help. She has no idea. Yeah. I mean, she wouldn't know a thing about fashion if it wasn't for me, right? I don't know, I'm just a model. Well, finish the mojito. We don't want to be wasteful. Well, I try not to drink at breakfast. And plus, I should probably be going. They're waiting on me. A sip. Okay. I mean, does Heather really think that she can take dead people's clothes and sew some rags and buttons onto them and compete with my line of Tristan's tees? You were like way smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you know that the faster you drink something, the fewer calories it has? Really? Oh, you already look thinner. <laughs> I feel thinner. She's gonna be here on time, right? Heather, why are you freaking out? Look at, look at me, look at my eyes. You're scaring me. Morgan will be here. She will. Okay, okay. She's your friend. Yeah. All right? Promise me you won't tell Heather that you're with me. I mean, we know how threatened she gets. Okay. I mean, I guess. I just... I feel weird, though. I'm here for you, baby doll. In fact, I have a surprise. <gasps> no! Oh! I made it just for you. An original Tristan tea. Oh, you should totally wear it today. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Morgan? You're supposed to be here an hour ago. Why am I not surprised? Hey guys, Morgan is here and she is ready. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. This is a catastrophe. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Oh no! Yeah. No! Yes. No! <laughs> yeah. We are not doing this, Heather. Yes. No, we are. Yes. Backpack? Heather, I'm not doing this. It's a really nice dress, but it's under. That no, backpack is totally pulling it off. I'm gonna have to call the contact John Paul. Oh, um, hi. Uh, where are you going? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my clients are? Do you really think that Angelina, Nicole, or even Paris would consider wearing these? You're just a washed up little reality star. 
Okay. Yeah, I admit it, I don't know everything. But one thing I do know is that House of Heather is about the people. Well, I am gonna give them something original to wear, and nobody is gonna stop me. Not even you. Oh, and uh, by the way, if I wanted to see a drag review, I would have gone to West Hollywood. What? I look fabulous. Jean-Paul. Yes, it is. Are you still interested in the doggy stirrup pants? Doggy you are. stirrup pants? Marvelous. Well, She's looking very forward to meeting you, too. Very nice. Thank you, Jean-Paul. Thank you. I'm ready now. Where is everybody? Hello? Guys? I know what I want. I keep on reaching out. No one is gonna stop me. Everything is just right. This is my life. I think life is a dream, you know? It's you make it up as you go along. So the reality show for me was like, you know, it was like another dream in the middle of the night. You wake up and you're like, ooh, I had that dream and I had that dream and now there's this dream and then there's the doggy dream. And you know, I'm just dreaming all over the place. Heather, sh she's a good girl. You know, she, she's got a big heart and you know, knows what she wants out of life and that's, that's it's a turn on. I don't know. I like to think that things between Heather and I are going to work out, and um, that in the very least she doesn't hate me. We can be friends. Um. Anything else you want to tell us, or do you have to? Mind? You know, I'm the star of this show. I got to get back on set soon, but I guess I have time for one more question.